on me. Lead. Lead. Because this mohawk ain't working out on TV. Hey, welcome back to the Chill Spot. I'm Corinne. And I'm not Lori. <laughs> I'm Lisa. Well, I'm the quiet one. <laughs> the quiet one? Mm-hmm. Well, tomorrow evening, you better beware. That's all right. Because if you look to your left and you look to your right, you're going to see witches and ghosts and goblins and all the superheroes. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Do you have candy yet? No. <laughs> I took a whole bag of candy over to the neighbor children because uh-huh. we probably won't be home. So won't be home. Whole bag. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, so just make sure um, that you have your porch lights on and you have lots of candy. So don't come to Lisa and Lori's house because they're not going to be home. <laughs> Go to the house down the street where she took the candy to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I have a list of the top ten worst candy to pass out. Okay. So if you have not bought your candy, do not go buy these top 10 candies if you don't want your house to be egged. What makes or them tea-peed. the worst candies? Is it the ones the kids don't like? Are they choking I, hazards? No, I couldn't find that out. Maybe I thought it was they, choking hazard. But maybe they pull crowns off because they're sticky or something. I think oh. it has something to do with all of the Hershey candy bars because half of their stuff is on the top 10. So I think they're oh, sabotaging. Because well, I grew up on some of this candy. Oh, okay. Let's hear about it. Circus Peanuts. These are the worst, right? These are the worst. Yeah, I don't like Circus Peanuts. Peanut Butter Kisses. They come in the little orange and black wrappers. Real cheap candy, but they taste good. Tootsie Rose. That kind of surprised me. Yeah. Smarties. Smarties. Licorice. Mm, I love licorice. Bit of Honey. Good and Plenty. And the Necco Wafers, which I don't even know what those are. Aren't those kind of like those little diabetic cookie things? They probably are. I don't know. Yeah, I've never, I'll have to go hunt for them. And then the wax cola bottles. Can you still buy those? Yeah, you can. i seen them. I used to get those when I was mm-hmm. five at the swimming pool. Yeah. And then of all things that you think would not be on the list, it's candy corn. I've never cared for the candy oh, corn. Oh, I love candy corn. It always reminded me of reaching into a bowl of teeth, you know, because <laughs> of the shapes of them. Well, you know, actually, that is funny. The top 10 worst candy to pass out. When I was a kid, you know, when you're a kid, you know which Mm -hmm. houses are going to have the good candy and which Mm -hmm. houses aren't. But my parents made us go to all the homes because in the neighborhood, because we lived in a neighborhood with a lot of old folks. Mm -hmm. And the old folks loved seeing us dressed (laughs) up and in our costumes. And there was one old lady, she was very sweet, but um, she gave out stale cookies <laughs> and she would just drop stale cookies into our bag and then huh. they would crumble and it would make a mess and mm-hmm. then you have the the neighbor who gives out an apple and it's like what an apple and then you get it home and it's all bruised up i remember getting pennies oh really mm-hmm. i never got any money yeah hmm. pennies little pennies hmm. so the top 10 best candy to pass out now this will leave your yard looking beautiful Uh, you're not going to find toilet paper eggshells or anything if you pass out peanut butter cups snickers Hmm. tricks kit kats m m's nerds butterfinger sour patch kids skittles and hershey bars Hmm. You said Trix a minute ago, and it made me think breakfast cereal, but I think you meant Twix. Probably. Twix candy bars. <laughs> or you could get a handful of Trix That's true. and throw in the bag. That is true. That is true. But on this, when we, we were talking about the the uh, worst 10 to pass out, you mentioned choking hazards. Mm-hmm. I remember my two boys when they were little, and they'll probably kill me when they watch the show. But I remember cleaning nerds out of both sides oh of gosh. their nostrils because they, they kept pushing them up in there. Yeah, something about kids wanting to poke stuff mm-hmm. in orifices. Yes. Yeah, so just be mindful of that if you have some little ones. Hmm. And some interesting facts 
um, about the candy is six million dollars is spent on candy and Halloween decorations. Wow. That's a lot That's of money. A, it is. It's a lot. And it's the second largest com uh, commercial holiday after Christmas. Well, I believe that because right after July 4th, they started putting out the Halloween mm -hmm. stuff, you know. Yeah. And you guys are probably wondering why this blue pumpkin is set in here. Well, that's because not all pumpkins will be orange this year. You may see a few blue ones like this one that we have here. And the blue pumpkins, they are symbol of autism awareness. Mm -hmm. So the chill spot would like for you to place a blue pumpkin on your door if you plan on being home and passing out candy. And it's just to symbolize that if you are a parent and you have a child that is autism, it's a safe zone for them to go to. There's no judgment there. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be out there saying, well, aren't you a little bit too old to be trick-or-treating? Right. It just makes it a lot easier on the parent that has children and, and stuff like this. And the trick-or-treater with a blue pumpkin very yes. probably likely has autism. Autism, so, yes. Yeah. Yes. So just be mindful. Um of anyone actually coming to your door um, that evening. And um, if you see an older child, um, you may not see a blue pumpkin because, you know, some parents may not be aware of this. I right. just recently found out about I, this a few weeks ago. I did, yes, me too. So if you do see an older child, um, just be mindful that they may not have that blue pumpkin and don't make comments, you know, that you're too old. Cause I think, you know, well, I you mean, know, anybody can go trick or treat. I get to thinking when, the, when there's older kids who come to the door dressed up, wanting candy, Give them the candy. They could be out running the streets. Mm -hmm. They could be out doing some horrible things. And yeah. they could be out egging your neighbor. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. so. so just be mindful. And if you do have, um, you plan on doing a blue pumpkin, um, just hashtag and, and let us um, see your you know what your children are your dressed pumpkin. as. And yes. And I do <laughs> believe um, one of our members, Kim Rockwell. Rockwood. Doesn't, uh -huh. Rockwood. Doesn't uh -huh. she have a um, grandson that's autism? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So have fun um, on Halloween, Kim, and uh, let us see your grandson, what he's dressed up as. I know. And she has a new grandson now. Yes, Baby. I've seen that. I know. Adorable. It's adorable. So just remember to have fun and uh, stick to that top 10 list if you don't want your house a. <laughs> No circus peanuts yep. here. Yep. So happy Halloween. Um, stay safe and um, do something special for your residents that day too. And uh, till we see you again, remember, you, you matter. matter.